Ma. Oh, yeah, that's the one I wanted. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at shower thoughts we all agree with. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My first instinct when I see an animal is to say hello. My first instinct when I see a human is to avoid eye contact and hope it goes away. Mm-hmm, true, same. Just because someone has it worse than you doesn't invalidate the things you are going through. Very true. Also same the other way around. Just because you have it worse than someone else doesn't invalidate the things that they are going through. Okay, let's just respect others. I'm suspicious of people who don't like dogs, but I trust a dog when it doesn't like a person. Same. But then again, my dog doesn't like anyone, to be honest. <laughs> my dog literally hates people like I hate people. Why do dogs follow their owners? Honestly, my dog is so similar to me, it's crazy. Like normally dogs, they love going out for walks, right? But my dog doesn't like going out. Like I walk her every day, but she hides the leash and she doesn't like going out and she hides when I tell her let's go for a walk she hides she doesn't like going for a walk like I've looked online and some people say that her paws might be hurting and then I checked everything and like everything is fine but she loves playing inside that's the thing that's confusing it's not that she's not active because she's so active inside like she runs around crazy inside and I play fetch with her inside and everything like we can play for so long inside and she gets so much exercise inside the house. But as soon as we go outside, she hates it. And it's not the leash because I've changed the leash so many times. I do think I know what it is though, but I don't know when it started because every single time the ice cream truck comes around, she starts shaking. So it might be the ice cream truck and then now she just thinks every single day the ice cream truck is going to come and she doesn't want to go for a walk in case it comes again and then she's going to be so scared. But I don't know what's so scary about the ice cream truck, honestly. <laughs> I just did a whole rant about my dog. We do not check the refrigerator multiple times to find new food. We check to see if our standards have dropped enough to eat what was available. <laughs> That's so true. When you're hungry, you just end up getting like a tomato or something. Okay, I'll just munch on a tomato then cool. Or you see a slice of cheese. You know what? I can munch on a slice of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Out. Kids believing that adults have things figured out has to be one of the most effective scams in history. That's true, because every kid wants to grow up to be like adults. I'm sorry, kids. We have failed you. We did warn you guys, though. You don't want to grow up. You survived 100% of the things you ever encountered. You're nailing it. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel kind of good. Nice. I've survived 100% of the things that I've encountered. Yo, that's crazy, Ellen. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Sometimes the nicest people you meet are covered in tattoos and sometimes the most judgmental people you meet are the ones that go to church on Sundays. <laughs> Yo. Why are tattoos so, like, um, badly judged? I feel like most people with tattoos, they're, like, the sweetest people ever. They're just shy, you know? They're so wholesome as well. People don't fake depression. They fake being okay. But sad. Sorry guys, just go hug your friends. Tell your friends that you love them. <laughs> All right. Maybe they're not feeling okay, but they're just always acting okay. And that can resonate with ourselves too, you know? Sometimes we just don't feel okay. And we just want someone to be there for us too. There's a big difference between getting up at 6 a.m. to go to work and getting up at 6 a.m. to sit by the fire with a hot cup of coffee while everyone else is sleeping. It's just like you having to get up for school in the morning and it's so freaking hard. But on the weekends, when you wake up, you can't even go back to sleep. The reason most of us stay up late is because we don't want our free time to end and tomorrow to start. That's true. That's why I stay up late. That's very true. Oh, I just want to spend more time right now. Watch all my dramas. I don't want it to be tomorrow. <laughs> a person you know from your past remembers a version of yourself that doesn't exist anymore. That's crazy. I feel like this is so crazy. <laughs> Yo, I feel like everyone remembers me as like the very shy kid. Well, I'm still shy now, but I guess if they see me on the internet, they'll be like, why is the shy kid talking so much? Why is she acting like that? She was never like that at school. She just never talked at all. Yeah, that's weird, hey? It's funny because I feel like people think of me as a shy kid and then I would think of someone else as a shy kid. I guess it's because I know myself so much and I know that I can be like 
extroverted in front of my friends but with new people I just can't do it you know I feel like I go off of other people's energy so if someone is like really hyper like my friend is really hyper then I get it off her energy and I'll become really hyper as well but if we're all chill then I'll be chill I don't know I guess I'm like a chameleon <laughs> when you're a kid you don't realize you're also watching your mum and dad grow up oh that's so true right we don't realize it's so sad once you do realize though like oh mum and dad have actually gotten old don't you ever just look at your parents backs and you just feel sad for some reason you know <laughs> i think i felt that way like i was going on a walk with them and the two of them were just in front of me and i was just walking and i just felt so sad for some reason it's just like well they did so much for me and time has passed so quickly telling a depressed person to be happy because they're loved is like telling someone with asthma to breathe because there's oxygen around them wow i don't think someone who isn't depressed will understand what it's like to be depressed that's the thing if you're not depressed you will never understand someone who is depressed it doesn't matter how old you get buying snacks for a road trip always feels like you are an unsupervised eight-year-old who was given money do snacks on road trips hit different okay sleeping in your own bed after being gone for a while is one of the most satisfying things in the world can't relate because i always sleep in my bed every single night <laughs> we went from buying ringtones in 2002 to always having our phones on silent in 2022 wow those are the days though having songs as your ringtone <laughs> those were the days being afraid to check your bank account is the adult version of being afraid to check your grades while as a college student you are afraid to check both the only thing that i'm afraid of checking right now as if my phone is ringing <laughs> and i'm scared like who the heck is that like people know not to call me so who the heck is that just text me please just text okay just do a text please nothing sucks more than being sleepy the entire day and unable to fall asleep at night this happens way too much before like that's crazy i always fell asleep at school but then i go home and then i'm not sleepy anymore like what I couldn't even stay awake at school like what I don't know what that was like why like I was trying so hard to stay awake but every single time I would just be like oh my gosh people who take naps are the real heroes it takes courage to wake up twice in one day <laughs> dude naps are so good though but it has to be like the right timing all right if you sleep too little too long nah it don't feel good you gotta sleep like exactly like 20 minutes or something okay if you sleep like over an hour you just feel groggy afterwards and you feel disgusting <laughs> honestly when i take a nap for too long i just feel like yo where the heck am i am i like 13 years old again where's the school bus b p d and q are the same letter and no one talks about it <laughs> <laughs> yo that's so true just rotate them yeah being able to tolerate the sound of your own voice in a video is probably the highest form of self-acceptance <laughs> yeah i've accepted that part of me now every single time i edit my video it's like a bit cringy but i've accepted it okay maybe i still do find it annoying but you guys are so nice some of you guys who say that you like my voice oh that's so sweet <laughs> why don't we like our own voices though come on now dogs live in the moment on a level that we humans could never achieve and they're content with it they get in a car and don't know if the next destination is a dog park the vet or a five hour road trip they're just happy to be included ah! Coco! Dude, Coco's like why are you touching my butt mum when asked where do you see yourself in five years everybody in 2015 probably got the answer wrong oh like this was posted in 2020 everyone was probably like 2020 is gonna be such a good year come on i can't wait for it to come and what happened everybody screwed some stranger somewhere still remembers you because you were kind to them when no one else was oh is this me to all of you guys <laughs> i'm kidding stop it there's a high probability that someone hates you because someone else lied to them about you yo this is the thing that gets me the most because you don't know right if someone tells you something you don't even know whether it might be accurate or not i don't even know man it's crazy 
I feel like some people don't like you as well because they don't know you too. <sighs> well, one way to combat this is just hate everyone. <laughs> you know, just don't like anyone, you know, just hate everyone. Everyone's the same now. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.